My name is Hannah Reid and I work for the International Institute of Environment and Development and I'm both conference organiser here at CBA8 and I've also been running the session on natural capital and its importance to community-based adaptation. One of the key messages coming out of my session on natural capital and ecosystem-based adaptation was that really it doesn't make sense to consider ecosystem-based adaptation as a separate thing from community-based adaptation. Mm. We need a much more integrated approach to the two issues. There was some disagreement about whether that was a feasible way forward because of course CBA is often housed under climate change activities or development ministries and, and EBA is often housed under environment ministries and, and promoted by conservation organisations. So the funding streams for these two things are different. The, the different donors, environment and development agencies um, have their special interests which again separates the two issues. Mm. So, so, in some ways they are divided, whether we like it or not. Um, but on the other hand, I think there was general agreement that we need to try and join the dots between these environment and development related issues much more. Because if CBA doesn't consider ecosystem issues, then we could end up with maladaptation, which would be a disaster. And likewise, if ecosystem based approaches to adaptation aren't stronger on the more social issues, for example, deconstructing what a community is and realising that it's not a homogenous group of individuals, all with the same degree of power and influence to determine how their lives play out, then EBA can't function properly either. So there was disagreement about how easy it was to do that, but I think there was general agreement about the fact that we do need to join the dots better between the more social side and the ecosystem oriented side of, of local adaptation approaches. I think there was the clearest advocacy us was um, the need for a more integrated approach to local adaptation, an approach which integrates ecosystems and biodiversity better into it. And I think one of the clearest sound bites for me that came out was that um, for some time we may have been treating the, the natural world around us as a cathedral mm. Um, mm. but we've started now to treat it as a supermarket and unfortunately we are clearing the supermarket shelves which will tremendously reduce our ability to adapt to climate change in the future so we need to start restocking those supermarket shelves and, and start treating natural capital ecosystems and their services more like the cathedral that it perhaps used to be in the past.